Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for July 18th through July 24th. Oh, we already have a couple cards that want to fall out. Let's see what your messages are. Okay, you've got the table and you've got money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Hard work ahead. So if you are working on something, whether this is a business or if you are working on your finances, if you are struggling with your finances, the money is going to be on the table. The money is going to become available. So some, if you are looking for an answer, a problem, a solution, okay, it's, it's going to be there. Um, you may have to work a little bit hard for it. Be diligent. Do your research. Think outside the box, but there is a path to financial success, to a financial dilemma that could be on the table for this week. Okay. It's like, <clears throat> it's like the planets are going to be in your favor. I don't know why I said that, but Spirit said the planets are in your favor. It's like a, a, um, a stroke of luck. Okay. What additional message, please? Ten of Swords. There you are. There it is. So something that you may have been painful or something that you have been really struggling with emotionally, mentally. Sorry, i got to straighten my cloth here. You know, you're dealing with something that you may have been feeling pinned down something that you may have felt was over there's a path there there's a path opening up okay so let's take a closer look at your week okay shemi spirit energy this coming week for aries shemi the energy for aries shemi the energy for aries please Show me the energy for Aries. Show me the energy for Aries. Oh, interesting. Okay. We have the Seven of Wands. You know, some of you may feel like you're getting a get out of jail free card. The Seven of Wands in this picture depicts a man behind bars. And he has that muscle, that strength to come up against resistance, that strength to pull those, pull, 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 pull those bars apart. Okay, You're, this week, it's like an opening, an opening of opportunity that you may have felt on the defense with something. But it's like opportunity presenting itself, a method of escape, if you will. Ten of Wands, you know, it's something that has been draining, something that has been stressful and strained. I feel very strongly, Aries, this financial strain that you have been going through, okay? Now, like I said, keep in mind, this is a general read. If you aren't looking for a love reading... Maybe the next reading will be for you. But I feel that the Aries that I'm talking to today is dealing with major financial restraints. Okay. Then there's the Knight of Cups. Okay. That is the emotional vessel. Your emotional expression. So whatever this is that you are dealing with, that is you feeling like your method of escape, your things that have been keeping you boxed in, stressed out the burden that you've been carrying maybe have been emotional you may have been expressing that through your emotions and for some of you could be misconstrued by others um because i'm not i'm talking to an aries who doesn't typically discuss their issues here and i don't know why i'm moving things around don't typically discuss your issues 
your problems, things that's going on. The Knight of Cups is suggesting an outwardly expression. This may have been as a result of some emotional event in your life as well. It's dead center in your spread. It is the focal point. Along with that Ten of Swords. For everybody, the situation is going to be different. Whether this is a maybe even a sense of betrayal or hurt or pain. Something ending that was painful. It could be a work situation. It could be it could be relationships, yes. Ah, we got the two of cups. There's an but it's leading to something greater. A greater opportunity, a greater connection, whether it is with friends or romance or business partnership. It is one that is like that Ace of Cups. The, the Knight holds the Ace. Each one of the court cards holds the Ace of Cups, by the way. And it's how they manage that Ace of Cups that is their, um, <clears throat> their level of emotionality, their maturity, things like that. What do they do with that cup? That's what each court card designates. What do they do with that cup? The Knight of Cups openly expresses it, okay? Um, and that open expression may be expressing your concern that, you know, now something is finally over, but that opportunity that we're speaking about up here, your money issues may be leading to something more positive. And I started to say about that Ace of Cups that he holds, it splits off into two. So there could be partnering up with another company, partnering up with a friend, could be a new romantic partnership, however it resonates. But it's something that is an answer to your prayers, something that is that opportunity that is being sh shown to you. You just have to use it that night and move forward and discover it per se. And I feel as though there's a great union, a great friendship, or whatever, a great partnership that is developing out of this. Okay. Which kind of makes sense that you're breaking those bar, bar, bars apart. You're getting outside of that emotional boxed in or financial boxed in energy. Then we have another night ending the line here. That knight is jumping through hoops, literally jumping through hoops. Five of Pentacles, there may have been a break somewhere in job, an ending to an employment or a relationship that is causing some this financial strain. It's going to be different for everybody, okay? Now, I do want to clarify, like I always do, I don't want to just leave it at this, okay? But there is a positive direction. You may be taking this new opportunity, this new connection here, this new partnership, and you are running forward with it, okay? For some of you, you could be running away from a partnership. Take it as a resonance. And as a general rule, only take what's yours, leave the rest, Okay, check your other placements, or I'll catch you in the next one. Show me the Seven of Wands, please. Show me the Seven of Wands energy. The sun. Okay, so it's like the sun is a nurturing energy. It's a rejuvenation energy. It is a nurturing energy, okay? It is feeling good, feeling better, a recovery period, okay? So... It's almost like I see, I'm hearing, you see the light of day. You're able to pull those bars apart. You're able to break yourself free from the blockages that may have been in your way. And you're finally able to see the light, feel the warmth. Something is warming you up this week. Some positive, positive energy. Show me this Ten of Wands. And you no longer have to carry these burdens alone. Star card. Okay. 
So there's this rejuvenation energy. Star is a star of healing as well. A, a new sense of hope. Okay. It's like, like I said, that answer to a prayer, to a dilemma. This could be a, sometimes the wish fulfillment, but it's also the star path. This is like that star path that you've been under, going under, um, eight of cups under the deck that you're able to finally move forward in another emotional direction and, and you're able to leave the empty cups there. I, I can't lie. I do sense loss. Five of pentacles up here does represent a loss of some sort and it's in the physical form. It's in the real world. It's breakage. Something broken, something deprived, something lacking. That That's where I get the breaking of a relationship, of a contract. Because you see, it's like wintertime of being left out in the cold energy that everybody refers to the five of pentacles. That, that breaks it down to simple layman terms. Break. Okay. Something broke and that sense of being alone and it's in the physical world. You do feel it on an emotional level. Okay, show me this Knight of Cups, please. Show me this Knight of Cups. Ace of Wands or Ace of, Pen Ace of Swords. There's a liberation type energy here. Very liberating, very... Um, Almost like that, that, that clarity, understanding yourself on the emotional level and on the spiritual level, understanding yourself from the inside out, being able to express yourself. The Ace of Swords is also about communication. So you are this week communicating how you feel about certain situ your certain situation, what it, whatever it is. Okay. Show me this Two of Cups. Show me the Two of Cups. Aha. Something established. You know, when I say moving away or moving towards, you know, I said moving away for something. So you are dealing with something that was established in the 3D. Something that may have produced financial security, a.k.a. a job, or i.e. a job, or a relationship that seemed to be very well founded, that, you know, a recognition of a sense of truth in regarding that particular commitment, that particular establishment, that union. Yes, Working for an employer, you have a union with that employer, a contract, an agreement. Same thing with a romantic partner, or it could be with a, a, a domestic situation with a family member. There is a sense of an agreement. There seems to be something established here. But I get this energy of a shakeup. Absolutely. Maybe you were feeling pinned down, Ten of Swords. Maybe you were feeling trapped and you needed something more, something you want to expand your horizons for some of you. Try something new, but you had to make that break. There were financial restraints that may have kept you where you're at, but you're turning that around. This is thinking outside the box, you know, finding that path to the financial stability and being able to make shit happen for you. This Knight of Wands reminds me of moving away from something that had been established. I get this very stuck energy. And you kind of like getting a little taste of freedom here. It's like where there's a will, there's a way. And I think that is your motto. Okay, King of Wands. Nine of Cups under the deck. You have a vision. You know exactly what is going to bring emotional fulfillment and you know what you have to do and you are taking 
very aggressive action. To be honest, this might even be a spur of the moment decision that you choose to make. Show me this Knight of Wands, please. Show me this Knight of Wands. And it feels good. I tell you what, the sense of freedom feels good. Emotional contentment, emotional attainment goes beyond family life. This is your personal happiness and freedom, a sense of self. Okay. Gorgeous energy for you. Okay, let's get... Okay, I'm being drawn to my charms. I was going to get an oracle card. Okay, you got the scissors and you got the rabbit. Okay, the at, rabbit is reproduction, very reproductive. You ever hear, you know, that saying, you know, um, the going at it like rabbits or pr producing like rabbits. And you've got the scissors. Okay. Oh, and you've got pliers. Okay, very interesting combination here for you guys. So what I'm getting is you are cutting yourself away, cutting yourself off from something that was established that you seem to be stuck in. And all the tools that you need are at your fingertips. And with these two combined, I'm getting to break free, to have that sense of freedom that you have the resources or they will be available to you. This is using the tools that you have to go in towards the life that you are dreaming of. There's a rabbit that is being productive. I almost feel, sometimes I get the tag on the carrot being dangled, but I don't feel that energy with the rabbit this time. I'm feeling production. Being very productive, more like Empress energy. This is you producing results for yourself this week. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Aries. And I will see you in the next one. Love and light. Blessed be.